Yep. Okay. Now we can go on to topic four. It's you, Jacob. Which, yep, it's me. Anyways, I guess uh, what I'll talk about is uh, the past three days or so here at school. We have another, like, I guess, exciting event to talk about. Um, Jacob's well, adventures actually, in Korea. <laughs> yeah, basically. This is something I've been looking forward two, to since three. even before I came because I was aware it existed. Oh, you knew. But, like, yeah, because every well, university... Music, yeah, every university does Every. It. Every Make university has, okay, for people that don't know what we're talking about, every university in Korea has, like, a huge, like, pride festival, basically. It's basically like a pep rally on steroids that lasts, like, three days. Um, and basically, they, they always have, like, a stage and booths and games and stuff set up all over campus. And uh, the biggest thing to me, though, was that all day they have, like, performances by, like, students and stuff. Uh, so like the first day I was there, I, um, uh, they were, they had like some student rock bands. Like when I first showed up on the first day, it was literally like a, a Hyoko cover band, which I thought was <laughs> funny because I was actually wearing my, uh, yeah, Hyoko the tour. shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So I, was, I was like, oh yeah, let's listen to some Hyoko wearing my accordion shirt. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. Uh, later that day. On, this is on Wednesday, by the way. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is when the Seoul Campus Festival was going on um, for SKKU. And um, they had this like segment they called the Produce SKKU, I think is what they called it. <laughs> what is, yeah, what and they they, basically, it was just like a singing competition. They had, okay. uh, I think they had eight, eight um, singers come up and compete. And uh, the girl who won, like... Uh, her first, her first stage, um, she did, uh, Halo by Beyonce and she was like amazing. Okay. And then she, you, you have to be amazing if you're doing freaking Halo by Beyonce, like the high notes in the on first stage, in the oh, first shit. stage. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like it was ridiculous. Um, and then the second, uh, I think she did a Korean song, but I didn't know it. And that was even better than her, her Halo stage. So I was like, okay, if she makes it to the finals, I'm recording it. So I recorded the whole thing. And now, like the that song has been like stuck in my head, like since since on uh, Wednesday, um, and I didn't find out until today what the song was called because um, actually last night on Friday, they they her she has like a Jonna B cover band apparently, and they performed for like an hour last night while I was standing there, and she performed that song again. Oh, okay, and, so she came back. Okay, so it must be a Jonna B song, and it is. And I figured out it's called uh, Saranghag, Sar- eh, Saranghagen Hesanayo, which is, is the name of the song. It's like, that's like the first part of the title because it's like a really long title that takes up like, it's like an entire sentence. But anyways, it's mm-hmm. amazing. I'll, uh, I'll like, I don't know, put a link to it in the description of this video or something. Um, because awesome song. Um, and yeah. Uh, anyways, back to Wednesday. Uh, basically I was at the stage just waiting all day because, uh, well, not all day, but from like six till nine, cause I got out of class at six. Um, cause at nine o'clock they had celebrity performances, which is kind of like the main draw of these university yeah. festivals. Yeah. That's they what would I, have, uh, I didn't know short they short had... concerts by artists. Yeah. I didn't know they had like student or like non like famous K-pop idol stuff. Cause like all the clips you see when you hear about like university concerts or whatever is just like oh mm. my god such and such big group went to like my university yeah, yeah. or whatever just like and I'm from what Nate whenever Nate would talk about like artists mm. going to Yonsei and everything like so. it's kind of a little known thing but like even like universities in the US do this as well just not in the f- festival setting yeah like, once not, and not with K-pop I artists a, I mean no not with K-pop like, but with like yeah like like, like big, big huge universities they'll get stuff like Lady Gaga and stuff like that like yeah, literally I, I think and then I there's my school who who gets like artists I've never literally never heard of before or no, I think I, we got was Waka Flocka Flame but I didn't care about him yo you got Waka Flocka <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, usually some, it's usually some type of hip hop artist because like one they love money and two like obviously like yeah. a bunch of like co- with like college kids are definitely their demographic so it's yep. always a bunch of like hip hop artists most of the time. Yeah, um, I think other times it was like indie bands like I would have been into but I just didn't check out their music I guess in time to know if I wanted to go see him or not. But anyways, um, so for the the concert on Wednesday here. 
We had, uh, first was Romantic Punch, which was a band I've never really heard of before. But all the Koreans, uh, not all of them, but a lot of the Koreans in the audience seem to, like, know all their songs and like them okay. a lot. So, so they're, they, they're, they're known. They're popular yeah. in the U and on the U.S., in Korea. So I definitely have to check out the rest of their songs. Like, my impression of them was they were very much, like, uh, Queen-like, I guess. Like, they're very influenced by Queen. Power Super mm-hmm. theatrical and... Uh, yeah. Even like Power Valley, it's like just like they're like super operatic. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, he was just very like the, the lead singer is just very like performance, like Freddie Mercury. Yeah, like. yeah. Um, and for like the first like couple seconds, I couldn't tell if he was a guy or a girl because he has this <laughs> really high voice. And also, like, yeah. he, like lo- lo- was that the guy with his, long hair? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, it, like, his, his, uh, his mouth, uh, like just made me think it was a lady because of his <laughs> lips. I don't know what about it, but yeah, I thought he was a lady. But no, then then I realized no, that's a guy after like ten seconds or so. But yeah, he was awesome. Like he was doing stuff like climbing up on the the, <laughs> the support, support beam yeah, and I like saw, I saw that. Clip. Like that's what I mean by he was just it was just, it was just like a queen concert basically. Like he's just mm-hmm. such a showman, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely need to check out their music as well. And then uh, what was mainly drawing me to the concert, like trying to get a spot at the front, was uh, we had G Idol right after that. Yeah, I'm playing and the I'm playing the your your entire fa- you filmed the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> for for game. artists, I was excited for. I just feel I just like held my hand up and then just walked forward. Basically, I just like basically had my hand raised the entire time. But yeah, um, mm-hmm. so for G Idol, they performed uh, first. They did, uh, uh, Senorita. Which was expected. Uh, at least I expected them to open up with that. Um, and then they did Han, and then they did Maze, which was amazing because I didn't oh expect. Oh my god, they did Maze live! I hope they yes. do Maze during K Con. Oh, that, they better do Maze. There's probably a good chance that they do it. Wait, G Idol is confirmed for K Con? Yep. Yeah, you didn't know that? No, I didn't. What the no. hell? Okay, now, <laughs> yeah, now d- the d- lineup d- seems way better d- for me now. No, yeah. It's day one is Everglow and, for girl groups. Day one's Everglow yeah. and Eyes One, and day two is From S and G Idol. Okay, I I knew. Also, about- that means day one we might we might get our Eyes One Everglow rumor stage. Yes, so. please. Ooh, that'd be interesting. That's I'm awesome. I'm begging you. <laughs> Produce four. I mean, it's Mnet. They could do it. They could. Yeah, do it. exactly. Yeah, just get Hancho on um, and with SSI to just show up as well. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that wouldn't even that wouldn't even be the like craziest thing that happens at KCON. We got like English Bad Boy, and we also got NCT doing Whiplash randomly, and then me almost died yeah. and crushed. Um, <laughs> anyways, because <laughs> dude, I'll never forget that moment as long as I live. Anyways, um, uh, so yeah, Jaredal did Maze, and then after that, uh, they did Lata Ta, which was. Also awesome. Obviously, they were going to do the three singles. Their three singles, yeah. The question was, what were they going to do otherwise? And I'm really glad they chose Maze. They did their best song. They did their best song. Yeah, so Maze good. is the best G-Idol song. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Um, And then, all right, so I guess I'll go into day two. Oh, wait, didn't you uh, say, did, didn't you say you became a Soyeon bias now? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, from, <laughs> dude, I was watching the concert. You have seen the, the, have seen the light. <laughs> no. It, yeah, was Uki, Uki the wasn't best there to be so. fair. Yeah, um, Uki was not there for the concert. I forgot to mention that. Um, and yeah, no, I I think I'm so unbiased now because I watched it, like just seeing like them in the flesh in person. I was like, I just kept looking at Soyeon the whole so, time. Yeah, I, I've been I've been I, I've been on the Soyeon train since like freaking day one, and no one wants to listen to me. I was, I was just, just like, God like damn. stand talent, man. Freaking Soyeon is talent. Yes, yes, for sure. Um, and she's a collie. You have to stand. You have to stand her now. A no, collie's kind of, She's a collie. Oh, no. a collie. I, I thought you meant a collie, like a collie. Like a border no. collie. <laughs> she's a dog. Border yeah. Collie. I was no. like, what? A collie's kind of broken. Is that her no, like dog now, sign? So. No. <laughs> yes. Anyways, um, now on a day two. Um, so I didn't really hang around the festival that day. Um, because I had class uh for in the Suwon campus. So, um, I guess I'll go, just go straight to the concert for that day. Uh, we had first is a band called Daybreak, and I think they were a little bit more popular than a Romantic Punch because there were a lot of fans there. Like, I was, I was like, 
I guess towards the middle of the crowd for that one, I wasn't as close. Um, but like, how, how big were the crowds for this? Like, yeah, how big was the stage? Because I mean, it doesn't look. I mean, it's it not like it's, it's just not a like, stage on the ground, right? Yeah, right. Like, just on a yeah. festival ground. I like, mean, it was like a music no, festival like, type stage. Like it's or yes, was there yes, actual it's, seats? Yes, it's like a music festival type stage. Yeah. For, Stand in front of it. Yeah, it's just it's just on the grass or whatever, and people yeah, are yeah, just standing exactly. all around it. Okay, exactly. But like, but it was. Do you have like any idea re- how many people? It's, the lawn <laughs> like was roughly. probably the size of like a soccer field, so it was like pretty small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah. Uh, but it was packed though. Like, like it took yeah, yeah. maybe ten minutes to walk out of there. <laughs> like every night. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it, um, yeah, that's the so probably like a couple thousand. Yeah, maybe a thousand it seems people. like it. From yeah, the, from, I'm playing the like the Benzino video it's, now, so it's. I think it's mostly like that though, because the Soul Campus is the smaller campus. The smaller campus. Yeah. Next week, I'm well, in yeah, Suwon. Oh, you're going to the Suwon yeah. one? Yeah, yeah I'm well, definitely yeah, going. Dude, Sai is there. See I have to see <laughs> you, Sai. Yeah, he like, needs to. Like, if you go to yeah. South Korea and you have the and you have the opportunity, the ability, to, yeah, you see Sai. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why I braved a, the city hall. Like concert. Oh yeah! Did like, you outside? So that, yeah, you have to come I think back. I've right. seen. There I've was seen, like I've seen photos of that, Nate, and there yeah. really people filled the all the streets around. No, it. yeah, yeah. That was it, well because it was like a million people. It was when That's Gangnam like Style came yeah. out. Yeah. And so, it, like, it, yeah, there was, I, there's like news stories on it and like helicopter photos of the crowd, but I was in that crowd, and yeah. it was like it was weird because it's outside, out in the open at night, but it was incredibly hot. Because there were so yeah. many people, like the amount of people created so much heat that you couldn't even tell what it was side? outside. <laughs> it felt like you were inside. So yeah, like, you have to come insane. back. You have to come back next week and tell us how the freaking Psy concert was. Jesus oh yeah, Christ. for sure, for sure. Um, uh, but yeah, like um, I'm expecting the uh, the Suwon one to be way bigger because it's probably going to be in the lawn uh, in front of the Samsung Library, and that lawn mm. is like huge. Yeah, say it's probably the size of two football fields. I think. Christ. Probably. So, okay. um, God, two football I'm, fields side by side. I'm not used to college campuses being that big because again, I went to FIT. Me neither. FIT, my my FIT, school's FIT, tiny. Well, no, your your school's still bigger than mine. FIT is literally confined. No, no, I'm talking within, about Clarkson. Oh, you know, even Clarkson, like, that's probably okay. bigger than my school because like FIT is literally confined to like one, like, like one All street. Their, Block Clarkson's thing. in the middle of nowhere, though, so we actually do have a big lawn. Yeah, you just spread out. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's the thing. I, I'm used um, to a that's campus like, that's yeah, literally Michigan like in one area. Yeah, Michigan Tech doesn't people, but, like, it has a lot of land. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, it probably takes maybe 10 minutes to walk from one corner of campus to the other. Yeah, your, your like, campus is probably really big. Yeah, I'm not used to that but, at all, so. Um. Anyways, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, Daybreak. Uh, they're a pretty yeah. good rock band. I I thought they were entertaining. I need to check out their music though. Like, I don't really. Are they on streaming services or? Yeah, yeah, they are on iTunes. I just didn't get a chance to listen to them before the concert. Um, but I definitely will go back and check them out because I I did enjoy enjoy everything and uh, it was I think why I think they were more popular than Romantic Punch uh, is because like half the crowd was singing along to all the songs. Oh. Mm-hmm. Although. That, there might be a reason for this because right after Daybreak was done, like half the crowd left. Oh really? If it was Whoa. random fans that just showed up. Uh, yeah. No, I'm running it if it was just random random students. people that showed up, not students, because yeah. we didn't need wristbands. It's open to the public when yeah. Red Velvet was supposed to be playing. Spoiler alert, by the way. Um, so yeah, so uh, Benzino, he was definitely the highlight for that night. Like, he was so hype. Like, everyone was, like, you can see in the fan cam for Benzino, like, everyone's got their hands up, like, just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Raven, like, well, it's I mean, awesome. Again, like, Benzino is probably one of, like, the most... One of the more popular, like, Korean hip-hop Dude, rappers over he's there. Def- he's definitely one of the most hype ones, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, Benzino's just straight-up hype. <laughs> yeah, like... Like, uh, as far as, like, flow and delivery and stuff like that goes, Benzino's definitely among the best, in my opinion. Um... Yeah, like, he was super hype. I didn't know... The only song I actually knew was Dolly Van Picasso. I was like, come on, you have to do that song. It's like <laughs> Bean Zeno song. So, um, I was hoping he'd do How Do I Look, because that's the other song by him that I listened to a lot. Uh, but he didn't, but that's okay. But yeah, the other the other songs, I'll have to find out what the titles were, because they were all, like, really, really hype and catchy. Um, so yeah, like, uh, Bean Zeno is probably the ones that like the exchange students were probably most like excited for because yeah. Yeah. more into like hip hop and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, everybody everybody really liked being Zeno. Um, Did you go with a group? Like, your like uh, yeah, yeah, I was just with some friends on. That was actually the only day I went with a group. Yeah. I was with my roommates. Oh, okay. for, uh, <laughs> the other days you went on your own. Yeah, well, right, no, because I'm the only one. I'm only crazy person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, one of my roommates Spoilers. was going to be me, but then he ended up not doing that. Cause he's like, I don't want to have a heat stroke, and I was like, okay, that's a good point, but whatever. Oh, oh was it? Is it? Is it still hot over there? <laughs> oh yeah, it was like ninety degrees on. Oh, on... F- oh god, <laughs> oh god, no, yeah, screw that. So, I, I went. Luckily, I, 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 so I yeah, I'll, I'll go. I wouldn't wait ninety degrees for red velvet. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'll I'll go into I'll go into Friday. So um, Friday was like I slept in on Friday, so I woke up at like one thirty, and then by two I had been on campus. I was like, okay, I have to get my wristband. <laughs> Um, and so it, it was in the business hall, which is right in front of the, the field where the stage is set up. And, mm-hmm. uh, basically there's like these stairs that go up to the top level and the line mm-hmm. for, the, for getting the wristband literally went up the stairs to the like, top level. I don't know why they decided to do it up the stairs, but whatever. So I heard How that many floors? it was going up the, it was like three floors. Oh my um, God. So not, <laughs> not crazy, but. Well, because the level that the stage is at the, with the lawn is, like, technically B2. Oh, okay. Like, the stairs go all the way to, up to floor one. So, basically, mm, okay, I, just okay. up, I just walked up the road to floor one because I knew that it was going up the stairs. And mm-hmm. done that. And the line went surprisingly fast. Even It looked like it was going to take forever, so I was like, uh. I mean, it's but just it, for span, so. Yeah, it only took, like, ten minutes. So, it wasn't that bad. Um, so, yeah, once I had my wristband, I was like... Okay, I'm gonna be waiting all day if I'm gonna get in there because I there was already like two or three rows of people at the stage, like in the <sighs> in the middle. So, and it was only like two o'clock, and the concert was at nine. So I went I went inside uh, the the business hall, went down to the uh, B three, which has the uh, CU and which is a convenience store. Yeah. So I bought like a couple pieces of fried chicken and a liter of water. I ate that and, drank <laughs> and then I went to wait in the. And oh. drank a whole liter and then went to wait. So you, what did, do you need? Did, did you have to pee? Like, I, didn't, I, didn't to, I didn't need to. I didn't need to pee. I didn't need had, to pee. I think you held it because I sweated out. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. You're Just sitting there in freaking ninety all, degree yeah. weather. Yeah, oh, you God. actually you absorbed all of the water and so yeah, actually you, like I none of it went like, to waste. I didn't need to pee until like after the concert was over. Yeah. Maybe maybe adrenaline kept me going. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, adrenaline like I hit the urge to pee. But I mean, oh, yeah. I, I I miss. I that's what I didn't do. I didn't get I didn't get fried chicken from a, a convenience store when I was in Korea or Japan. I need to do that when I go back. Because <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Chi- it's just fried chicken. It's no, like it's, KFC. Yeah, it's, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, anyways, you can kind of um, do that Seven Eleven here, but it I, I don't trust Seven yeah. Eleven. <laughs> what? I like Seven Eleven food in the oh, U.S. I don't trust. I don't trust gas station food in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fine as long as it's not fish or eggs. Okay. Like, I always get like the chicken roller things or the hot dogs at Seven Eleven. Nope. Good. Nope. Anyways, um, anyways, uh, so yeah, basically, I went in there and I found a spot that was like, basically, like right at the stage. I was right behind. Uh. Like two girls, and one of the girls had her boyfriend there, which was actually kind of annoying because he was like the same height as me. So I was, no. ah. and you were able to look like over during. The, they're well, the, he's the same height as you, and he's doing yeah. the thing where he's holding his girlfriend in front of him, or or no, nope, were, nope. He's doing that. the thing where his feet hurt, and he keeps going on his tippy toes every five seconds. Uh, oh. <laughs> I like. I almost was like, bro, can he stop? <laughs> You should have asked him. He should have asked him to spoon with you, and then maybe you could. You would have been in front. Oh my god! No. <laughs> Though here's the thing: the girl that was right in front of me, she actually left like three and a half hours after we were already waiting. I don't know why. <laughs> like she was front she row. She lost her spot, and you got it. No, here's the thing: these two me- Chinese girls got in front of me before I could get it, and they were uh, all- already in the front. I was like, "What the yeah, hell?" No, I mean, yeah, some people just luckily, just, luckily, they were like literally this tall, so it was fine. Yeah, so that that must be convenient yeah, going yeah. to concerts in but, Asia. It's like you're not ha- you don't have to deal oh, with like, tall ass American yeah. people. Like, yeah, that, that's probably you're the tall ass American people. Everyone hates you. I mean, yeah, you can see I'm, fine. I'm, I'm like five, I'm like five eight and a half, so I'm not that tall. Like for a dude, like yeah. So, so um, uh, during the day they had a lot of performances. Um. Although no rock bands on Friday, which I was a little bummed by just because the band they did have was this jazz band. 
but they played for like two hours and it was putting me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> two hours. Like, like I like jazz, oh. but it was like lounge music that like <laughs> Oh it, yeah, it was smooth jazz. Oh, no, it wasn't, no one, yeah, it wasn't was upbeat re- jazz. No one there okay. was like waiting for them. So like yeah, the I was like, dead, come on, can, like I literally sat down. Play and, some like, red velvet covers. <laughs> jazz, jazz, like, yeah. jazz renditions some, of red velvet. Jazz red or, like, velvet. Yeah, that would have been amazing. Like play something I know or whatever. But no, it was like it was like literally like um just smooth jazz. It's like Persona Five soundtrack, like that kind of thing, but like less yeah. hype. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like they were really, they were really good. That's I feel bad that they like they were putting me to sleep, like when I'm just standing still for hours. Um, but other one, um, I forgot what the group was called, but they were like uh, basically a club for like rappers and hip hop stuff, and mm-hmm. uh, they were really good. The only the like literally the one flaw of their uh, performance was this one guy. He like had the literally the most annoying voice I've ever heard in my life. Like rapping voice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which sucks because he was he was a really good rapper. He was just he'd rap like this, like blah, 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 blah. like <laughs> more, but like more high pitched. Even more. It was terrible. Oh, oh okay. so it, it sounds like, like he's one of those I, people I, like I, a high pitched raspy voice. So yeah, he, like he I, sounds I, like one of those people a, that need the that need like the the voice synthesizer because they smoke too much. <laughs> yeah, basically. But yeah, like I, uh, um. Like, I put a small clip of it in Discord while it was happening, and Marlon was like, damn, that dude get punched in the throat or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, literally, literally. Yeah, like, the other rapper is really good, though. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't record any of that, but, yeah, they were really good. Um, There's actually one performance that stood out was actually did, like, a Korean version of Love the Way You Lie with a uh, female Ooh, rapper, nice. a rapper, and then a female singer doing Rihanna's part. It was really cool. They were doing so a lot like, of like, so, like so the like Kai style, like, uh, like, sort of like talking back to each other. Oh, I was I guess. gonna say like MFTY, like kind of stuff. Oh right? yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, except with two girls instead of two guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that was a really standout moment. And then uh, I think, oddly enough, from the same like club, they had some uh, dancers that did like hip hop dance and stuff. Okay. So I guess it's kind of like a hip hop club for the most part. Collective, yeah. Uh, yeah, they were really good. Um. At one point, uh, they also... Actually, no, that might have been a different club, actually. Yeah, it was. Okay, so yeah, the next club that came out was actually specifically a dance club. And they did, um, like, I think they... Actually, it might have been two dance clubs right in a row, actually. I can't remember at all, but... the fir- I think the first club was doing, like, like samba and, like, cha-cha and, like, stuff like that. Like, basically, um, like, Spanish dancing. Yeah. And like they were they were confident but they weren't like anything like spectacular in my opinion. Like like they were mm-hmm. but like Wait, like just Koreans was, like trying to it do just like wasn't, samba? It just, Yeah, it just wasn't making me like go like woo or anything. I was just like, okay, this is the thing. Um mm-hmm. and then but again, like I don't wanna say like they were bad. They weren't bad. They were just like they didn't stand out as much to me. And then the next group, I think, uh, was quite good, actually. Um, like, they were pretty tight. They were doing, uh, like, mostly idol dances. Okay, and so it was, like, a- guys and girls, which was nice. So, like, um, the crowd, like, freaked out when they did uh, Dala Dala. Oh, that <laughs> was no, It's yeah. huge. <laughs> yeah. Speaking so, of, Andrew, you, did you see Itzy in New York? No, I didn't see them at all. Them. I know they were, like, going around and shit. Like, there's, Wait, a, they're, they're there's doing, always idols in New York. Louis Vuitton thing yeah. or something. Yeah, they're oh, always okay. idols they in New got York, but I never to, see them. They got invited to it. Because they're at all so, the touristy cool. locations, so and I, I don't do mm. tourist shit in New York City, because yeah, like, yeah. tourists are trash. Avoid it like the plague. So, <laughs> yeah, you avoid it like the plague, just because it's uh, oh, oh, super annoying. And there's tourist traps everywhere, so obviously, but... Yeah, cause, like, yep. It was funny, because like, like, Ratmon just literally like went to the Met and just like walked around, and no one knew who he, who he was. Or no one knew who he was. That's yeah. great. That must be nice for idols, just just walk around as opposed to just being like bombarded. <laughs> yeah. Um. So let's see. I guess after all that, uh, they went into like kind of like the the main part the main of the event. student performances, like it, not not the celebrity stuff, but this was like the like two hours before the celebrity performance. Um. So first they had uh, like a couple um, student bands, and I think these were the best of like like all three days. Uh, the first one was like a rock band. They did like a few like just 
like Korean songs that I've just never heard before. And mm-hmm. then like they were good again, but I don't have much to say about them. But they were definitely like really good quality. Like all the musicians were great. Which is honestly, it was it, oddly enough, I think the vocalist was probably the the weakest part, even though he was good. Oh, <laughs> like just, the musicians were just that good. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, like the guitarists were like like literally just like shredding away. It was amazing. Um, and then lastly was, um, not lastly, but for this like hour chunk, first this, hour chunk, yeah, of the two student hour, section, um, was the John B cover band that I mentioned before with yeah. the winner. From the produce SKKU, and mm-hmm. she played the song she did for round three again, but with the with her band. With the band, it, yeah. It was like, oh my god, it was so good. Like literally, like every time I saw her perform, I was like, who is she and how can I stand? Like, like yeah. if she really came out with music, I would came. follow her. Like she's that good. You gotta find her on campus and be like, I will. <laughs> I'm your biggest. Like, hey, fan. can you like, hey, can you release Put music? I'll follow music. you. Yeah, I'll buy your buy music. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like she like like she's that good of a vocalist. Like if she can put out like good music, like oh my god. Well, I mean, hey, I'm sure these I'm sure these festivals are like people have been like noticed or yeah, signed yeah, yeah. to like record labels through these types of things, so I hope she goes on something like like uh Superstar K or something cuz she like Is Superstar K vo- still going? I don't know. But K-pop star is not. <laughs> no, it's not. But like something like, yeah, I think they've been replaced by produce and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. The group, um, group idol stuff. Yeah, but like, um, yeah, I'll upload my uh, like, um, like fan cam, I guess, of her uh, during round three onto my YouTube channel. If you want to see it, just ask on Discord or whatever, because um, it's all it's unlisted private videos. We so. could link it in the description too. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, but I just think it's a little weird because she's just a student, so... Uh, yeah. Hey, she probably wants the exposure, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, but anyways. Um, and then uh, she did a few other John B songs that I had never heard before, but again, like, uh, I definitely need to uh, widen my knowledge of John B, though, because they're going to the Suwon Festival next week oh, on Thursday. Well, the actual group. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, actual John B. So I'm hoping they actually do that song that I was trying to find out that she sang. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Cause it's so good, it's it's like my new favorite song right now. But um, uh, and then she did the the hey yeah 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 song. I have no idea what the title is. Like the the. I don't he- know what you're talking about. You know the song they sing in the He Man video. I YouTube. said hey yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She oh. sang that oh. song. And it was so Zombie, awesome. Ah. Uh, uh. What's is it just hey I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what the title is, but like, um, she sang that song, and I was like the only one in the audience singing along because I think I was the only one that knew the song. <laughs> but yeah, that was awesome too. I I have a short clip of that as well. Like it was so good. Um, again, again, like yeah, so good. Um, so uh, after that, they did the like typical like Korean festival. Um cheerleader like performance thing cheerleader what <laughs> You're that's what they called it that's i guess <laughs> okay <laughs> okay anyway <laughs> what <laughs> anyways <laughs> oh, wait, Nate, okay are you sorry Nate, are you muted oh i'm muted okay yeah okay what? that's why i was laughing because I, was... I was kind of trying to brush it across and then i just started <laughs> Well, you, I was like, I didn't know what you were laughing at. You didn't say <laughs> okay. I was muted. Awkward um, but moment, no, yeah, but these, audio people would be like, what the hell? Anyway. Yeah, all these mm. festivals have, like, cheerleading parts and stuff. <laughs> like, like American style? Like, I, I, is that a thing in mm. Korea? It's, it's a little different, but... Yeah, it's, yeah. It, they're also, cheerleaders, but, like, much more theatrical, I think, and did it's you, a structured show, I think. The, yeah, yeah. The song is "Zombie" by the Cranberries, by the way. I don't okay. Know if that yeah. Came through. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what she's saying. Um, the uh, yeah, basically, like they had all these like chants and songs and stuff that you had to sing that they'd like, and they put the lyrics up on the screen, and you gotta like go like side to side and like back. Yeah, it's words and it's like, more. You know, like, yeah, it's more like yeah, crowd. It's like pep rally like, stuff. It's like a pep yeah pep rally pep band type stuff. Yeah, exactly. With the cheerleaders, but like way more way more participation. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I've seen video of like before I came to Korea, like of like Korea University, like they're way bigger too. 
Yeah. So yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yonsei and Korea. Think it to be more like that in Suwon. In Su- the Suwon uh, campus, yeah, because it's like, dude, main. everyone was like, there was like this huge, like, it looked like, <laughs> it was crazy. It looks like a bunch of cultists like doing some. <laughs> ritual, I mean, but isn't there like when you're in it, you're like, woo. Isn't there like a famous like? Isn't there a viral like GIF or like video of like? I don't know, it was, it was either, like, some Korean, like, soccer team, or, like, or Korean, like, university, like, soccer match, and, like, they have, like, these crazy, oh, like, freaking, like, signs and everything, and, like, they're just, like... Oh, at Korean soccer games, they have giant flags, like, they're literally, like, that, they, they, that, that's a, that, 30 feet across, like, going like yeah, this. Yeah, that, that's a normal thing, they are, it's called a, it's called a TIFO, um, that's another oh, okay. thing for, uh, for soccer games, that's pretty... Like, like you, yeah. you make one before each game. Like that's a, that's a pretty like even cool. at the even at the game that I was at there, where like there's like barely anyone there. There's still the guy like <laughs> waving the huge flag. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, after all that, um, actually, I'll go a bit more into detail for that. Like, um, so along with the chants and stuff, there's like choreography and stuff, and dancers wearing these like <sighs> they're wearing like Hanbok cheerleader outfit kind of things. Hanbok. Like, how can yeah, you like cheerlead it, in a Hanbok? Isn't like it, well, it was like it was like Hanbok style, I think, because uh, SKKU is like a historical university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, like, like that. Like the mascot thing is called the the Kingos. Like it's just kings. Like King Sejong was a yeah. Apparently, like, oh wow. Yeah. So like, um, or at least I think his he was a scholar there at least. But anyways, um, actually, fun fact: what they told us at least uh, three. So the four are like uh, Korean like money bills, like on three out of four of them, uh, they were professors at Sungi Kwan University. SK, yeah, SKK. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the the fourth one that's on the fifty, the woman, she's just the mother of one of the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you just have a lot of history in your campus. Yeah. Um. So all this, uh, it's the oldest university in Asia, I think. Mm. I think like the older ones are like stuff like Oxford and stuff Harvard. like that. Yeah. I don't know, not Harvard. Oh, well, it's an American it's country, so yeah, America <laughs> is not old enough. <laughs> yeah, because like SKKU was founded in 1398. Christ, so it was even discovered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I think, I think Oxford was started in like 10 something. Yeah, I look- yeah, yeah. There's, I'm sure there's some like Middle East university or something. That yeah, yeah, that too. Like, yeah, thousand years old or something. Yeah, exactly. Um, but anyways, um. Yeah, they had that. There was a bunch of, like, pyrotechnics and stuff. Yeah, the during... fireworks at the beginning, yeah. No, no, like, literally, like, blowing flames and shit, like, a, in front of the dancers on the stage. Fire! <laughs> yeah, literally fire. Um, and then... Alright, so into the celebrity performances, they had... Uh, first was Sudan, who actually replaced uh, Bopagan, which I was really disappointed Oh, by. no! Why? What but happened? Yeah, Bulba- Bulbagan, Red Velvet was, would have been... Yeah, that would have been, like, dude, like... That's Actually, Jacob's I dream. Wait for like ten hours if it was Volpog. That's guys. true. You would have to wait even longer. Yeah. Um. But anyways. Um. So I guess thank God, like for my feet, that it wasn't Volpog. But I'm still a little disappointed. But that being said, Sodan was awesome. Uh, she did, like basically all the songs you'd um expect. Like wow. uh, one of them I didn't know what it was called. Um, I'll have to look it up later. But they did. She did. Uh. Calling in Love, which I was glad for, because that's the first song I heard by her. Yeah. Back in, like, 2016, I played on my radio show, like, episode two. Yeah, I remember uh, that. Yeah, so, uh, so, Calling in Love, and then also she did Wine, and she did the song, I no, she did the song I didn't know, and then Wine, and then also uh, One Plus One Equals Zero off of her album. And I think she did another song also that I didn't know the title of, but I think it's also the same album. Hmm. Um, so yeah, she was awesome. I got some good pictures of her, which I still need to edit. So yeah, that was awesome. Um, I will be editing the fan cam I have of her soon. So I might put that in yeah, the description. Try, yeah. Fan cams in the description. So mm-hmm. they're not like pop- people can watch them if they want. Um, you have good fan cams though, though, especially for Red Velvet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then for Red Velvet, um, dude... The, the MC, he was talking for way too long. You can actually see it in my fan Yeah, cam. I skipped past that in the video. Yeah, like they did like fireworks the first, fireworks which was done. awesome. Yeah. I was, well, I was filming during the fireworks because I was expecting Red Velvet to walk out like while everyone's looking at fireworks and they just start mm-hmm. playing. Like that would have been the most hype thing ever. Um, but no, then the MC came out, he just started talking for like, 
like three or four minutes straight. And, and then everyone's like, just like, no, we did not cut. We did not stand here for 10 you know, hours was, to see you. I almost was like, get off this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have actually said that, but like I, I wanted to. He wouldn't have and understand. Then, uh, stood you, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But then, uh, and then Red Velvet came out and they did uh, Red Flavor. And then they did um, Power Up, which was awesome as well. Like, again, Red Flavor, Power Up, everybody was singing along. It was amazing. And then this is a weird thing. They, so when they, after they stopped to talk for a while, which is normal in a concert, they did um, With You instead of like, they did With You, which is like a, a B side. Like yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I was not expecting that. But it was, I'm actually glad they did because like Irene and Yeri like came really close to me. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Sogi did too as well. Oh, Sogi um, looks amazing. I would have yeah. cried, not not even joking. I would have cried if I was this close to freaking Red Velvet. Yeah, like like uh, one thing Baron said in Discord was he was like, damn, Irene was close enough to you, she could have spat. <laughs> I was like, she damn well could have. Damn yeah, well like could have. Really it's like she did, and I'm like, I'm not washing this face ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, um, yeah, that was really good. And then, uh, and then lastly, they did, uh, RBB, which was surprising because I thought they'd do bad boy. Regular? Like they do actual bad boy instead of really bad yeah, boy? Yeah, but no, they, they did RBB, but that's okay. Cause that's another song I love. So, um, although spoiler for the, for the red velvet ranking when I do that, like <laughs> they're going to get such a good score from me, I think. Yeah. But. Oh no, the whole discords could give them, the, the averages yeah, are going to be so high. It's yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, because their their discography is just so good. Like yep. they could pick any kind of B side, and I would still love for it to be live. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, they ended out with RBB, and that was amazing. One two five live for the second time was great. <laughs> Although nobody was shouting one two five, only I did <laughs> around me. I was like, what two? They're five, not real red loves. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in the fan cam during Red Flavor, you can hear me just shouting "Red" when when during Irene's rap. <laughs> yeah. Red. Did anyone have the light sticks? Red. That's the best uh, part. No, nobody bought the, a light stick. Nobody has a what? Red no, is nobody the had best, a light stick. The best part. Seriously? Yeah. Well, I think, mostly, I think it's mostly. I think it's mostly because like, it's just it's it was only university students in I the. Guess. Uh, so it could have just been casual K-pop fans who like. Yeah, it's not big K-pop fans, but casual Red Velvet fans who wanted to see them. Close yeah, up. I guess. Like, like it's kind of like how like um, I don't know. Like I love Mamamoo, and I'd pro- I'd wait all day to see them front row, but I don't own their light stick. Yeah, I don't have I, the uh, yeah I don't have the the turnip whatever light stick that ain't. That, yeah, that's a topic yeah, we're talking move. about. Just like best light sticks, we should we should do that sometime yeah. soon. <laughs> um, yeah. Overall, it was awesome. It was like I think it was definitely worth like waiting to. Uh, Hours. <laughs> Yeah, just the like, cause I feel like with K-pop concerts, because there's so much uh, like reliance on playback a lot of the time, like, cause you're really there to see the choreography and see the members in person and stuff like that. So I feel like to make it worth it, you really have to be real close, yep. if possible. Um, cause like I wanna like I was talking to one of my roommates about this. I was like, I I love being able to like just see the detail on their face, like it's literally them right in front of me. Like see you know? like actual proof of their existence and not just on yeah. like a computer screen or a phone screen. Like they're literally right there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not sure if I was clo- as close as I was at KCON or not. I think... <sighs> we were roughly around. Yeah. When they came really close, they were closer, but I think it was about uh, a little farther when they were in the middle of the stage. Because I think the uh, like the middle stage at KCON is smaller than the, yeah. act- the sound stage at the university. So, um, yeah, it was awesome show. It was an awesome I show. Re- and I- I really waved them. in your general direction. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, she did. She did. <laughs> I just skipped to that. I just saw that part. I was like, "Holy shit!" Even I'm having. Yeah, a I was like, ah! I was like internally dying. <laughs> um, actually, during that song, like, um, like one of these girls who like like basically weaseled her way to the front. She like knocked my hand and made me stop recording. Oh. And I was, I was like really mad. So I was like, why? I'm here to have fun, so I just cooled off, and then I clicked the record button immediately back again and just started enjoying the concert again. But yeah, that yeah. was annoying. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she was probably just freaking out, like, oh my god. Oh my god, Irene <laughs> acknowledged my existence. Yeah. yeah, like just trying to wave. But uh, yeah, overall, the song was amazing. Or 
Not the song. The, like, all the songs concert. are amazing, obviously. The concert was amazing. All three of them were. And I'm excited for next week. So, yeah. Yeah, you have to, you have to. I, I definitely want to go to day one. I'm pretty sure I'll go to day two, but I'm not sure about day three. Like, day three. What about day uh, six? <laughs> I wish day six went. Um, Where is day six? What happened to day six? <laughs> Someone yeah, tweeted actually, Jay from them in yeah. a long time. Someone yeah, tweeted tweet Jay. Jay. Where, where, y'all, where y'all at? <laughs> where y'all at, yeah. Um, the, uh, so, yeah, Wednesday next week is Psy, and then we have uh, on day two is Jonabi, and then Daybreak again. So, like, day two is basically Rock Band Day. Um, mm-hmm. And then day three is all people from Indigo. So it's like Giddy Boy, um, Jackie Y, um, Swings, and some guy named Kid Millie. I think we know. Oh, him. I know, I know who Kid Millie. So, oh, God, that's yeah. probably gonna be the busiest day because it's it's all like it's all like super popular. Mm, like, I, Cy is gonna be the I think Cy is definitely Cy, gonna be besides Cy, but at least for the students, it's probably gonna be the biggest. I think day. honestly, honestly, I think all three days are gonna be really big because Johnny is really popular. Okay. And yeah, so yeah, um, it'll be good. I'm not sure if I'll go to day three because I'm a little burnt out already, but I definitely. <laughs> yeah, going to three, if I feel going up to concert to it, for three straight days is I can't do if that. If I either. feel up to it, I'll go to John B. So yeah, yeah, that's my experience with the university festival so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if anyone you else see there. a giant one, uh, yeah, go to Twice's YouTube account because they just yeah, put yeah, on yeah, all Yonsei. their it's performances crazy. at Yonsei. So and Yonsei my roommate, is a giant outdoor amphitheater. Yeah, so um, my roommate, his uh, he has a, a friend. And she told him that, like, I think she goes to Yonsei, and she said apparently that, uh, like, only freshmen get to go, basically only freshmen get to go to the co- the festival because it's tickets. Mm. And oh. you have to be yeah. a freshman, buy up all the tickets, like, like immediately. Yeah, so, they let the, yeah. So she hasn't been there for, like, five years. Damn. Yeah, it, it's cool because there's so many people. In the, yeah, there's yeah, so many people, people and so many people it. that they want to see. Well, here's it's the thing, though. The biggest SKK, SKKU has the has like the same student population as, um, as Yonsei. Yonsei. Granted, we have two campuses, but yeah, all students from any, any campus uh, mm-hmm. possible. But like, there's no tickets involved for SKKU, so I have no idea what's gonna happen for Sai. Yeah, Sai yeah. might be a nightmare. In all oh, honesty, there's no tickets. Yeah, that's you're, you're fucked. Be... I mean, there's you definitely were saying, wristbands. Though. You were saying there's that's why they were though, yeah. for students. All students get a wristband. Yeah, you were saying that they were yeah. avoiding wristband. They can't get in the stage area. Yeah, you're saying they were trying mm-hmm. to avoid like announcing it publicly, like too, like yep. too early because it'd just be like a shit show. Like everyone just be yeah, exactly. like lining up just because it's Sai is a national icon. Everything for yep. that's cool that he's still like. Despite like owning a company now and like doing all this other stuff, like he's yeah he's still, still out like, there the, performing. Yeah, performing for like student free concerts essentially, or like just like random concerts essentially. So that's paid for. Oh, I yeah, can't I mean, wait to I say mean, like, that that it's I not, was it's, able. It, there's no gate. I mean, like you, you don't have to pay to see. Yeah, it. yeah. Oh yeah, for yeah, it's free for it, the viewers. Yeah. For Wednesday too, it's just Psy, so it's like an, a full hour Psy concert. Yo, it's you're, yeah. you're gonna get the full experience of a Psy concert. Totally. Yeah, so I can't wait to be able to say that I've seen Gangnam Style live. Like that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that is that is a life experience right it was, there. It was a good experience. Though. Yeah. Well, and so, a bad experience because how many people? But yeah, it's gonna be the same for for us. I think. I mean, not not like in a concentrated area though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's my experience with the university festival. So mm-hmm. yeah. If anyone else was there, say hi <laughs> in the comments or something. Like, if anyone yes also goes to Yon- or or uh, Sunken Kwan or just visited the concert, I doubt it. I, I yeah, I doubt it. I doubt, I doubt many people like. There's like there. a zero point one percent chance of that. <laughs> so, yes. All right. Thanks for listening. Catch us next week. Join the Discord. produce cast coming soon. Mm-hmm. Actually, next yeah. one. Maybe. You might not be there. No, you have to come uh, back. You I, have to talk about Psy. <laughs> We're making I'll try you come to. Back. I'll try to. It's yeah. it's really hard to uh, like find times to record here because I don't want to uh, like. Yeah, it's almost. It's like it's past midnight. I don't want so. in, I don't wanna inconvenience my roommates too much. So yeah, I yeah. Right. And you might need Jacob three weeks from now. So yep, because I'm gone that weekend. Mm-hmm. So. <clears throat> I don't okay. know, we'll figure it yep. out. We'll figure it out. Uh, no, yeah, no, pretty much nothing else. Oh, we're going to figure out, like, kick on tickets and stuff and all that stuff. Yep, sleep so, over at oh Baron's God. house. Yes. Loot a party. 
Oof. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out anyway. Yeah, but yeah, that's all we have. Out. Nothing really planned until like KCON and twice. So yep. just keep on the lookout for like anything else. Yep. Yep. Take us out. Jacob. <laughs> all right. Thanks for listening. Uh, please subscribe if you like us. No, your, your audio is gone. Oh. <laughs> the very end. Did oh, you well. mute yourself? I mean, it's still no, on my, it's still on my audacity. Oh. <laughs> nope. Okay. Well, thank you and good night. Messy ending. Stay remixed. Stay throbbingly, throbbingly remixed. remixed. And hopefully it's a good remix. Especially, it's cool, especially to see you with Blackpink and Twice, because girl groups don't get the recognition for concerts that yeah. guy groups do in the U.S. Yeah. Like, it's just, girl groups just don't have the fans that guy groups do in, in the U.S., at least. Yeah, because um, there's... And, because most fans in America... I think-